It's true. You're using optical flow wrong. I'm sorry. It just, it is what it is. I was using it wrong too, for a long time. But then an editor much better than me, his name's Neil. He really is like one of the best editors I've ever met. <laughs> he mentioned it just in passing one day. And I thought I would share his knowledge with you guys. Anyways, let's go over here to Premiere Pro and jump into this because this is really important. This is such a useful tool and I think not enough people are using it the right way. And it, it saved me, literally, that's the thing, is that this this use of optical flow will save you. So, okay, so I was recently um, helping uh, this guy I work with a lot film this video um, for a hammock, right? And we needed to show all the different features of the hammock and on this hammock, the bag that you could pack it all into is attached to it. And we didn't have a shot really of this bag, a good shot. This is the best shot I could find in this bag. Look at it, it's all over the place. That's me in the hammock. But that's our shot, that's our, that's our shot. That's the best shot I have of the, of the bag right there. And I need to put graphics over this, over this, uh, over this shot. Uh, to, sh to showcase like look at this. This is the bag that it comes with it. it's attached whatever the graphic is going to be I don't know, but This is my only shot of this of this pouch on the side of this hammock Play it back again It's quick. It's shaky and then we're off the we're off of it like so fast We're gone right and so I'm like shit I need to like slow this clip down right and it's like okay. I like this section of it and it's like okay, maybe uh, Maybe we could use our our, our optical flow to to slow down this section of the clip, right? So command R to bring up our speed and duration settings and we'll go to 50% because I mean, we want it to be slow motion, right? And if we just go to optical flow, then it should be nice and smooth. That's what we've been told, right? Every day on fucking YouTube, that's what we've been told. Optical flow makes your slow-mo smooth. Gives you buttery smooth slow-mo without having to properly shoot it at the right frame rate. But look at this, it's not, it's not sufficient. It's still jittery. The clip is still not long enough. It's just not gonna work. But I need this shot in the edit. We, we need this shot to show this this feature that this hammock has, right? So so what are we to do? I mean, y you would think you, you can keep slowing it down, but I think intuitively most of us are, are afraid. We've been told to not slow stuff down too much because we get this result, we get this jittery sort of, you know, choppy kind of frame rate. And and basically, how optical flow is working is... All right, I don't fucking know what optical flow is doing. But the point is, is everybody says, you know, you can slow your 24 frames per second clip down, use optical flow, and your slow motion will be smooth. And granted, it helps a little bit. It's a little bit smoother than the frame sampling version, but it's still not good. And the real the real sauce, the real cool thing about optical flow is when you lower the speed to a crazy slow speed. So like, look, let's go back into our speed and duration settings and let's lower the clip to 5%. Now our clip is much longer. And look at, watch how smooth this playback is. I'm gonna render it because that makes a difference. Okay, look, our clip is rendered. Ready? Watch how smooth this playback is. Look at that shot. It's basically... Look how smooth that slow motion is. That's like... That's like... 500 frames a second. And look how smooth it is. And, and typically, I think most people would think like, don't lower it that much. Like you're not supposed to lower it. You know, there's this there's this equation for, for slow motion. It's like, if you're at 60 frames per second and you wanna lower it to 24 frames per second, then you do 50%. And if you are at 120 frames per second and you wanna lower it to 24 frames and you wanna slow it down in a 24 frames per second timeline, then you do whatever it is, 25% or whatever the whatever the equation is. And, and, we, and we don't, often leave that because we don't want to, you know, anger 
the, the frames per second gods or whoever's monitoring us while doing this stuff. And so I think a lot of the times, at least I know I was, I, I would have never thought to go to 5%. That sounds crazy. I'm like, that won't look good. That's going to be so jittery. That's going to be basically a freaking slideshow, you know? But with optical flow, that's the power of optical flow is you can go that low. You can go to 5%. And it's a lifesaver. It's like we didn't have this shot. We didn't have a smooth shot of this pouch. We just didn't. And we weren't gonna go back out to the mountains, reset up the hammock, bring all the gear, you know, like we're not gonna do that just for this one shot of, of this pouch. Like, but it's like, it's there, it's in the footage. You just gotta know how to, how to extract it. I mean, it, it literally saved it. It's like, okay, I need this shot, this slow-mo shot, it doesn't exist. How do we make it exist? optical flow and I think a lot of people aren't doing that a lot of people aren't using optical flow this way and I think more people need to know about that so if you if, if you learn something on this video then awesome dude that's so cool if you're gonna if you're gonna incorporate this optical flow trick into your next edit dude that makes me so excited and and that's just great that's so rad if, if you already knew this optical flow trick what why are you sharing it with people bro now let me know let me know in the comments if, if this was useful for you um, and if you like this video you could check out this other one too maybe you'll like it as well you know and if you want to be updated when I release new video then you could subscribe that's cool too right uh, yeah that, that's pretty much it though I just wanted to share this optical flow trick with y'all uh, I hope you enjoyed it um,